I got, a, I got our games from that. Oh, you got it? Oh, you yeah. got them? You got them? You got them? Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome to Game Drone. We'll put uh, two games against each other, and then we yell. All right. All Looks right. like we know exactly what game we're going to play. Cool. Ah! Mm -hmm. Explosions. Okay. That was a reference to a thing, I'm sure. Yeah, let's find out. Dick. Blank, your game is it? Oh, see? I knew that was coming, so there you go. <laughs> Anyway, come on, yeah, okay, okay, and then... Brandon, your name is Rocky, oh, sorry, I and, shouldn't talk over you. Rocky and Bullwinkle. I, okay. I didn't know that one was coming, actually. No, really, okay. So, we got two classic cartoons made into two not-as-classic games. Let's... I said that really strangely. Let's g gamble on to the goob. That trick never works. I believe having butt sex for all eternity. <laughs> Whoa! By the way, this is our first time using our, our new microphone. Not the first time I've had it plugged in. Just it's, the first time we're using it. <laughs> we've managed to use it. Um, because we don't know how electrical cords work. Nope. And my glasses are filthy. So I've played this game before. Come on over here, kid. I'm gonna... Oh, man. Okay, she's, she's... And now roll 34 begins now. Okay, that... He's a cop and he just watched that happen. <laughs> Help! 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 Hey, Doctor. Okay, that's taking way that's too long. That's a very awkward. Legible. That's a very awkward way for that text to come up. Look how tiny Doctor Claw's hand is. Brain, Doctor Claw's after me. Tell Chief Quimby to help Doctor Uncle Gadget with his missions. Hurry, Brian. I don't uh, know how much longer I can. Well, you, you've already been captured, Penny. Give me a Scooby snack. This is actually a really well-built game, but I'm gonna say watching us play is probably gonna be very tedious. Tedious. Well, Go go gadget DeLorean. A lot of people I know who um, who don't didn't like anime at all as youngsters. Mm -hmm. Oops. Way to waste your whatever the hell that was. Whatever the hell was. Like didn't like anime at all, but yeah. but loved like Inspector Gadget. I always have to explain to them like, do you know? Well, I mean, it's, it's I'm not sure if you can really say it's an anime because it was produced in France. Well, France is big on anime. French 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 does like French style anime. That's true. He looks so unhappy to have his whole oh. body dangling from his neck. I see, so I, I got unlimited ammo, but I have to like just like shoot it correctly. Okay, there you go. Grab your sad face. Now, now what is that thing there? I can't tell. Oh, that's a siren? No, I think that's your helicopter. Oh, of course, of course. Hey, do you remember the Matthew Broderick movie? No. Yeah. It, the controls are a bit odd because there's so many different things you have to use. <laughs> All right, so now I have to figure out how to get out of here. I guess I can use the uh, plunger attack. Yeah. I really like this game, but I find the number of things you have to switch constantly on the fly to make it very feel very tedious. Yeah. Oh, there. There. No. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Time up. What? What? Why what? what, what why? Why? Did, is this like a Japanese like? Uh, dating sim version of this game? Why does your clothes take come off when you run out of time? Why did you do that, Blair? I constantly forget which buttons which. <laughs> the, the controls are just odd. For some reason, you have a limited of, of, of number of things, and yet it doesn't seem to... Maybe it's like the number you can use at once? Maybe. I'm not sure what it does. Okay, so I want to switch to this one and float down. Nope. Uh... There. There you go. Oh, oh now, god. Now we switch to this. Yeah. And there we go. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> that was very short-lived happiness. Ah! Do they have a boomerang hammer? Take head. Eat my head. What? No, you knocked. You knocked your suit off. Yeah, well, this is very. Ah! Fuck! No! We got this going down. We got this going down like Donkey Town. <laughs> What? That's an expression. <laughs> it's a real expression and not th a thing I just made up right now. No. Why do you do this every time? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> this game is great but tedious. Have I mentioned that yet? I'm beginning to learn the basic controls. It's interesting though how much stuff it makes you do like right off the bat, you know? Yeah, I mean? it's like throwing a lot at you like right away. There you go, Blake, you did it! You did it! Oh, and I think I'm invincible too. <laughs> you said Good intimidation tactic you got there, Blake. Okay, watch out, lightning's gonna hit there uh, and then. Bonus stage! 
Oh, it's gone. Aha! Aha, so this is how you're supposed to do it. Well, it's not really how you're supposed to do it. I'm doing it the secret way, but anyway. Okay. Okay. On, on to the second screen. On the second screen. Hat. Hat. Hat, hat. Oh. This is kind of... The thing about uh, Inspector Gadget, what, why the game doesn't really work... Oops. Yeah. It's like he's got all these abilities. And he's got kind of too many to manage. Oops. Lost my clothes. <laughs> this can be a guy that jumps up, yeah. Is he like super muscly or what is that? Like, I don't know. It, it looks like he's wearing like a, a muscle suit. Or maybe he's like partially robot. I know he's <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm still alive. I, I was convinced I was dead. Oh, I've been there, Blake. <laughs> I got my... I, got I wonder if it's such a gadget part robot or something. <laughs> no, well, I know he's supposed to be part robot, but I'm not sure what we're looking at when we're... No, when... yeah. Like, it does kind of look like he's just like... Like a, a robot flame with skin stretched over it. And watch, like, I just spring up and then, yeah. I'm not sure what all these other things do. We'll learn soon enough. But you know, like it's colorful. It's got it's got nice graphics. The music is not horrible. Oh, this looks like a like other game. Oh, oh we! I do like how the first level sends you to like a haunted cast castle. Well, yeah, it has. It's very uh, confusing. I I don't not sure if I saw the um, the uh, castle level of this. Also, can I just say this bonus stage clearly shows that they didn't have any idea what they were doing in terms of the game design for just this? Just colored blocks and you collect things that do something, maybe. Like, it's the it's, an, it's a teleportation thing, which never existed in the show. Yeah. It teleports you to somewhere very mysterious. That looks like... It, that looks it like, looks like just like a video game level. Yay, extra life. I can go forever. No. I don't think the bomb is the right item. That doesn't seem right to me. No, it doesn't seem to be doing much, does it? No. Let's, that, try, let's, try, let's try this one. This one seems like a that. Thing. That one looks like a water arrow from like Thief or something. Yeah. It did okay, something. it said out. The candlestick said ouch. That's our clue. That's our clue. Look for those times when the candlestick says ouch. Remember, if the candlestick says ouch, you know that it is a sentient candlestick. And then run and screaming I'm... in the opposite direction. <laughs> I know I'm in a video game. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Jesus Christ, the fire is like... And it's fairly easy to avoid. Like, if I wasn't trying to, like, do multiple hits, it'd be fairly easy to avoid. But Jesus doesn't do a lot of damage right, right away, and it's very easy to, like, basically fuck you up in a very short order. I suppose, like, it looks like it's a three-hit boss, or a, uh, probably a six-hit boss, given how... How things are going. Well, one hit already knocked a candle out. Yeah, yeah, but it's it is this is this, now it's at the tedious stage. It's missing how that line was crossed so very quickly. <laughs> okay, um, that sucks. <laughs> and these platforms that I'm standing on are somewhat vague in their application and purpose. Because they kind of indent, so it looks like they're gonna stop falling. Yeah. But then but they totally don't. They don't really do anything. No. They just m momentarily, like, descend. Okay, now I cannot get hit again, because I'm not dying on my last life. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to live forever. What? What? I just want to live where I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'm sorry, Penny. You're going to get thrown into a dungeon forever. I hope you enjoy the rest of your life uh, being in Rule 34 Tentacle Porn. Hooray! <laughs> hey. On to Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh, look at that sign. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Hey, bro, watch me pull a rabbit under my hat. Dave oh. Coulier! Cut it out, hey! Rocky Can I say I was personally shocked that I remembered the name Dave Coulier? <laughs> like, like nobody remembers Dave Coulier unless you watched. Like, I didn't watch any Full House, yeah. but I assume even then you wouldn't remember Dave Coulier. Iron Mountains, huh? The snow, come on, come on, give me Iron Mountains. That's cute. They, they, they did just like the show Danger Mouse. They did a really great job of having a very strong narrator making really solid jokes in the show that really like, like. The show itself is not that funny, no. but the narrator kind of pushes it over the edge. Looking at the pictures sideways! Actually, it's like this! Oh, 
Oh, oh, well, good heavens. Today we discover our heroes hurtling straight down toward disaster at supersonic speed. Well, that's pretty. And the music here is terrible. Yeah, this is really bad. It's it's like somebody's just bashing like a or like they made like a good song and then they chose the wrong instrument or something like that. Yeah, exactly. And it's like Actually, you know what? The more I think about it, it's just a bad song. <laughs> I like some of the setup of this game though. Like it's like, just like um uh, that other Saturday morning cartoon game we just played, the uh, which I've already forgotten. <laughs> the, gadget. The, um, we spent like 20 minutes playing for some reason. No, but there's some nice setup to the GUI. It's got some nice like twists. I find it a bit awkward and slow. And just like Inspector Gadget, they're trying to convert something that really doesn't belong in, in a video game into a video game, and it yeah. doesn't quite make sense. Oh, yeah, Boris Badenov! Oh, was I not bad enough for you? And especially if you add just like pounding on a keyboard with no discernible uh, rhythm or, pu or or purpose. Yeah, like how I'm doing it here. Yeah, that was extremely poor. <laughs> I don't know if the jump button is sticky in this game, but you're basically as bad as this game as I am at Inspector Gadget. Yeah, no. If not true. slightly better <laughs> than I was. On a scale of one to suck, I'm like pretty bad. Uh, my vacuum cleaner has several settings, and you're like the middle setting, where it's, which is like aimed for like uh, the floor. I'm like the carpet setting, which is like a little bit more intense suckage. Yeah. But you know what? They're both sucking pretty hard. And th that's my advertisement for Samsung brand vacuums. Thanks for sponsoring this episode of our show, Samsung. You thought you're watching gameplay. You're actually watching what? advertisements. This whole thing was an ad for Samsung. Hey, hey everybody, Samsung. It sucks like a like a like, like a, a like a vacuum cleaner. Uh, like a uh, like a soft like a Jewish prostitute. Like Shawshank on a Tuesday. Uh, there you go. Like Shawshank Prison on a Tuesday. So much sucking going on there. Hey, prisoners. Uh, you guys like sucking cock. I hope I never up in, end up in prison now. Or, yeah, actually, you know that, what? That's going to come back to bite you in the ass. <laughs> Was that a pun? Um, uh, I, I have to say that the, the chances of... Oh, of I uh, died from losing health. Of me both uh, ending up in prison and anyone in the world having ever watched this are approximately equal. <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, I'm white after all. They don't arrest white people. They, they they basically give you a slap on the wrist and send you back out to your white collar cr crime, unless you're poor. Anyway, that was my commentary for the day. Thank you very much. I'm all getting I very far in this that game. That goat was in an episode. Yeah, I get the feeling almost everything here was in an episode. But it's one of those things where in the game they have to throw in like it appeared once, and so now you have to make it a reoccurring enemy, which doesn't make any sense within their universe. Yeah. So it's like. There's clearly a separate universe of logic in the in the 90s video game version of whatever it is you're playing. Yeah. Once you, get, like once you get to about 2010, it, like they do a lot to try and make it seem like really similar to the actual thing. Yeah. Like when uh, you play a Telltale game, it's very reminiscent of uh, of whatever it is your the thing is based that's on. That's infuriating. I hope I'm at the right mountain. <laughs> Like, I hope I'm not way, way back. Okay, no, that's three rocks, so I'm good. Hey, Rock, I think I've ended up at the wrong mountain. Uh, you're always at the wrong mountain. No, no. Oh, Same look, time. I made it to level two. Level two, looking at cave grounds. After a rousing start, you must be feeling pretty proud of yourself right now. <laughs> thanks. Thank, thanks. See, that would be funny if it was said by a sarcastic narrator. For plots and plans, or too many crooks. But it's not funny when it's text accompanied. Ah! Oh, I remember those guys. They were they were like the Daleks of the show of this show. Overused, somewhat frightening, and then no explanation for why they keep coming back. Yeah, and why? X germ of cheese. Okay. Well. well that was Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. I hope you got something out of that, because I sure didn't. So which was better, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle or Inspector Gadget? Obviously Inspector Gadget. Which was better, the video game <laughs> of Inspector Gadget or the video game of Rocky and Bullwinkle? Total mystery to me. We're going to let our special guest judge determine, because like, I can't be I, I can't be arsed. He's a boat! He's probably not a boat. We should get Dave Coulier. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's an interesting and new way to start a segment. Uh, I feel like we're on a roller coaster of emotion. Woo! Um, <laughs> I developed a cough there. Yeah, that was um, great. Was, I'm glad voice. that's not clipping all audio. Let's ruin my voice for the in the first three seconds of filming. 
Uh, uh, we're here, um, of course, we've just played us the gameplay, and we're here with our, our good friend John from the Bear Fisto channel. Hi, John! Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, hey, you, 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 there's a little, there's a little lag issue with your, yeah, with your video. Yeah, there's a little... It's not quite syncing up completely. It's, you've got a little bit of a Hanna-Barbera issue going on. Yeah, a little bit. Curse you, Skeletor! That's racist. Uh, that's, that's racist. racist. I'm sorry. Uh, we've been playing a little bit of uh, a couple of Super Nintendo games based on old cartoons. Uh, so, apropos. Uh, <laughs> yeah. we, we've got... Uh, well, we played uh, Inspector Gadget, and we also played... Rocky and Bowling. Both for the SNES. So, uh, oh, we've got two minutes. Here's our arguments. Inspector Gadget, all right? It's a uh, it's a pretty fun game, and uh, the, one of the great things about it is they really make a good use of the color palette. They really get you the the feel of the show right away. It, it's got some humor in the opening. It's also got really nice animation, great great design on how it goes, and you know what? All, all the graphics look like they came from the show. So there's a whole lot of powers and abilities, and they all once again come from the show. They all work really well. The whole game is polished. It's got a great sound. Uh, it is a little bit challenging, which I assume you'll talk about, but one of the things that I would say that differentiates it from Rocky and Bullwinkle is uh, I think it better captures the humor. It's also a little bit more fun to play, and then it's... The Rocky and Bullwinkle is a little tedious, like like a lot of the samey, samey stuff at the beginning, and uh, I would say that one of the great things about uh, the Inspector Gadget game is it's challenging, but it works with the show. See, I can't disagree with that. Um, I find that the Inspector Gadget game is the various power-ups you get. You get a lot of them, I admit that. But they're not very intuitive. It, the game doesn't do any... gives you any direction on how to use them properly. Um, and so the complicated, sort of more diverse nature of the gameplay actually works against it. Um, Rocky and Bowenko is much simpler. It's aimed, I think, actually at a younger audience, despite the fact that the cartoons are more or less aimed at the same. But um, it's actually... it plays very easily from the start. You pick it up and you know what you're doing. Um, it's a basic platformer, so everything works pretty well. It's a little floaty in places, I'm not gonna lie about that. But I found myself actually enjoying playing it. We didn't play it for very long, but I could have played it for much longer. Went to the Inspector Gadget, I just felt sort of trapped. Um, and also the graphics look really good, they actually look like the cartoon, and I, it actually captures what the show was like, which I feel is the purpose of an adaptation of this kind, is trying to capture the feel of the experience, more so than necessarily creating a great game, which they're both, I think both of them are actually just pretty good. Yeah, so so basically we've got two options here. We've got Inspector Gadget, which has a lot of options, a lot of power-ups, and really, if we think graphically, uh, captures the spirit of the show. We've got Rock and Bowwinkle, which is maybe a bit more fun to play, more more jump in, a little bit less complicated, and thus, in some ways, less frustrating yeah. than Inspector Gadget. But they both have their flaws. Yeah. So the question is, which one of these games Based on our arguments alone, do you think wins the day? Skeletor. Ske it's a floating well, Skeletor. <laughs> well, I, I guess I'm not to go with the Rocky Bowl just for simplicity, because like most of those, most of those um, um, cartoon-based games, like, like are targeted to kids, and it's just like tedious and like frustrating. A kid's not gonna really enjoy that, man. Mm -hmm. That's one thing actually is um, Rocky Bowl was a game I really enjoyed as a little kid. Like, we, re I rented it a few we rented it a few times, and I really enjoyed playing it, despite the fact that looking at it, it's not a great game. Definitely Rocky and Bullwinkle's the game that a kid's actually going to get a lot out of the play. Uh, I couldn't make heads or tails of Inspector Gadget, to be honest. <laughs> I, I couldn't make it across most cliffs without uh, trying to get a secret and plunging to my death. <laughs> well, uh, listen, thanks a lot, thanks a lot, John uh, slash uh, Skeletor. Uh, it's been uh, great to talk to you. Um, and so, did we miss anything, you guys in the audience, that I'm looking at now? Yeah, I'm making eye contact. Is that creepy? Sorry, if not. <laughs> uh, leave comments below. Tweet at us. We I'm have going a Facebook with the whole creepy thing. thing. That's good. We have a Facebook thing going. Just do that. Uh, any game suggestions? Suggest them at us. That would be fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so until next week, uh, keep on playing video games and never leave your house at all ever under any circumstances. Because we will be watching. We'll be watching you. Always. We're watching you right now. Mm, yeah, we are. I'm watching you. Oh uh, yeah. This is the but a bunch of kids cartoons. I don't make it all weird at the end. Well, see you next week, guys. <laughs>